Hello friends, welcome to the 21th episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode we have seen that uh, the data is inserting to the database and in this episode we will add some server side as well as client side validation. So let's start from the server side, uh, client side validation. So here we will use some client side validation. So if um, the user enter uh, null message, so if msg this one so if the message is null so we will alert please enter message and return false so you will not able to send message so let's check refresh this page uh, so here we can see and now it's working so now uh, client side validation can be uh, bypassed user can bypass so we will need to enable the server side validation so let's um, create some validation so here uh, validate message private function message if or we can right there here if message equal to equal to null then we'll make the status false and also we can send message like in this way enter please enter message please enter message ok now here ok now here we will exit so you will get the json output using the status false and here also and also we will check the login section so we have to check this user id if it is 0 here we can see when we are not logged in then user id is 0 so if the user id equal to equal to 0 So um, if the user id uh, is 0 then uh, please log in before chat ok um, so let's check the server side validation is working or not so let's disable the client side at first mm, this one and now refresh this page so now if I click on the send an error occurred ok that means the uh, it's not saving to the database ok so um, instead of printing this one we can print the message from the server so from this object we can get the message so object dot um, msg msg save now try let's refresh and try so here please log in before chat so I must have to log in before chat so it's working
uh, so login um, let's go to the login page here I am so let's login with user1 login ok no problem I have logged in now if I try to send so test uh, I think I have not refreshed that one so refresh this page um, hi let's check um, the database um, check whether the Ajax request is um, going or not so console status of null 18 number line ok let's check 18 number line status ok 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 the Ajax is working status or oh, let's check the Ajax so that I can understand Ajax request now check the response response is null oh declare this JSON array at the top so that we can use so response we have defined this this oh sorry I have written in wrong place always the exit will call always so let's check so if I refresh this page and try to click on the send please enter message this is coming from the server uh, we can um, verify this let's put FFF now if I refresh this page let's click on the here you can see FFF so the server side validation is working now let's log out from the now um, let's insert and refresh this here you can see user1 inserted data <coughs> okay so after insert message we will append the chat here okay so what we have to do so um, we will create a private function which will get um, at first uh, after insert save message it will return the insert id so dollar db last insert id I think this is the syntax um, it's better to check Joomla database insert id insert id here oh this is the function so the last insert id so we will get the id of the chat message so dollar chat id ok now um, from this chat id we will repeat the message details so chat details from id so function get chat details by id dollar id dollar id equal to cast this so um, we have to create the database object here we will use the join query 
and we don't need all the data uh, just we need the c dot id c dot message and u dot name will print the user name not username user full name so this is the sufficient so now write this query so dollar query now we will put a where condition so where c dot id equal to dollar chat id and we need one record it will be more efficient to specify limit one now dollar db set query dollar query return dollar db object so we got the object so uh, like uh, if the chat is saved now we will send the chat details so dollar response chat details or at first uh, get the chat details so dollar chat details equal to dollar this and we will call this private method so we have to pass this chat id so now we got the object so we can assign this object so chat details so let's save um, ok now let's go to the front end refresh this page go to the console hi the hi this is user 1 now send and here you can see ajax request completed let's check the response so the chat details are uh, getting null uh, so let's check the data is inserted or not um, hi this is user1 data is inserted so i think there is problem in our function get chat details by id db object this one will be capital o i think that's not matter um let's uh, check dollar this get chat by id okay try one more time it's not coming um let's print the query and it's better to use the hash underscore but that's not the problem c dot id okay let's print the query so that we can debug so echo dollar query save so select uh, open chat message see left join where c dot id that's the problem we are not getting the value oh set this is the id and here i have written uh, wrong spelling so that's the problem in this way we can debug save try chat details again I'm not getting any value 
um, we have passed yeah chat ID we have passed save chat if DB query return insert ID is it a positive value let's check this one yeah 11 uh, we're getting the ID so that's good um, now data is not getting so, um, oh sorry dollar db load object sorry load object yeah now it will work so here you can see all the chat details we got so <coughs> Uh, in the next tutorial uh, I will show you uh, how to append message in this um, chat message area thanks for uh, watching this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel thank you